Hi, it's Jane. It's day 26 of 40 days of tenderness and um, feeling quite tender today. So much sadness. Um, so much sadness. And um, yeah, as I usually do with my feelings, I kind of like try to figure out what does this mean? And um, one thing I know is um, like the obvious thing is so I, f I've, I felt um, I had experience of feeling really fully reflected just like um, being able to relate to someone in a way that I received I felt like what I've always wanted, like, like having an experience, um, with God like that, you know, like just feeling so aligned, uh, with God. And then, um, I mean, this happens at times. It's like, you know, when everything in life seems like it's working and you're in serendipity and, and you feel really aligned and then it's like nothing. And you're just like, what's happening? It wasn't like that, but um, anyway, through a person, I felt really fully reflected. And then, um, and then I, at the, the height of that wave, I realized, um, no, there's still something here that's, um, and where, uh, it's not aligned, you know, it's not aligned. So, um, so now it's like, you know, the lower part of the wave where, uh, kind of um, having the chance to see myself and um, and see the parts that are still hiding um, and because uh, it's like yeah these moments of, of um, when you feel really connected and and when you feel loved it brings up kind of what's um, still not aligned, you know? And um, so for me, it was bringing up some old old things from my, my past about not being seen. And, um, and so yeah, I was trying to figure out what it meant, like, oh, maybe, I'm crying these tears because now I'm ready. I'm like really ready to be fully seen, like what I was talking about yesterday. And um, and what does that mean? Like, does it mean that, it means nothing. It means nothing, right? It just means like that's that's where I'm at and then the world will reflect it. But in my mind, I just kept feeling like, I don't know, like I had to do something about it. Like if I'm making this declaration that, I'm ready to be like fully seen and then maybe I need to like I just felt like I had to take action you know or like some decision had to be made like um, you know I'm ready for this kind of full-on relationship all the time you know or it's showing me something. I don't know. I just felt like there was something for me to figure out. Um, <laughs> and um, and it brought me to, so when I was in the womb, I had a twin and, um, and she didn't make it. And uh, when I found out later, like I, I, I kind of, I've talked to her like at a spiritual level a few times and um, I kind of felt like, uh, yeah, it explained a lot. You know, like a lot of people have that whole feeling like there's like a missing part of you. Um, and I felt that very strongly and um, it just made sense to me. And I was thinking, you know, maybe that is what this grief is. Like, and my fear, Okay, I was looking at my fear of like why I'm so afraid of really um, of being fully seen with an intimate 
partner and with the world like in my career and in my personal life in my family like how come it's so difficult for me and it came to me today and that's what I felt like I was grieving it was like okay there was this I felt almost fully seen you know and then um and then what that brought up and so it I thought oh maybe it came from this twin you know it's like I was actually physically one with this being um I mean as close as we could be right we weren't like yeah and and um and then I lost her and um so maybe that was like my first experience of of um loving someone uh, cuz we'd been together for lifetimes before and um and then losing her and then you know having to miss her the whole time I'm in this physical existence and then it brought me back to like you know the original separation I mean god you know as my twin right like or even my mom like like just just the original separation and so um the split between heaven and earth you know like like I don't really belong here and uh and I don't want to accept that I'm here because um I know the pain of separation I've already gone through that and on this earthly plane anything you get close to you have to be separated from again so I mean that's I guess the logic which is not logical. Um, and so it was just, again, looking at that and being like, okay, I get it, but now what? Like, I'm tired of that story. I'm, I'm, I'll go through the pain, you know? Like, I'm, I'm tired of just not letting myself be fully out there or involved um, for fear of loss. I get it. I'm done with that story, you know? And, um... So yeah, I was just crying a lot, and then, and then I finally came inside. I was like crying outside, and I finally came inside, and I was like, okay. Oh, because my message for today was, um, where's this message? Oh, quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest and contemplate, and uh, which is good because I definitely had the urge to kind of distract myself, like, um, you know. I don't know, like listening to advice from other people or reading. It's just something like educational, which is what I do. I usually invoke my mind instead of just feeling it. And uh, so instead of doing that, I, I resisted the urge to like listen to some audio or whatever. And I, I listened to music instead and I danced and I cried. And then I went inside and I was like, okay, I'm just going to like be still and let like the feelings run through and let like some transmissions come because I could feel some spiritual stuff wanting to come in. And as soon as I laid down, uh, I got this phone call from a friend um, who I haven't talked to in a while because there's this tendency to um, where people often uh, talk to me and I end up being like uh, listening and being there for them in an emotional way that I'm like, this is my job. I don't want to do this with my friends like all the time. It doesn't feel balanced. And I've had this pattern for a long time and I realize it's my responsibility. It's like my friends are great people. I know it's not their problem. It's mine. But I've tried different ways of handling it. Like, and the other person usually knows and they'll even say things like, oh, let's, let me, let me listen to you this time or tell me what's going on with you. I'm, I'm really calling because I'm interested in you. And I know they're sincere and then I'll try talking about myself. But even if I talk, there's some kind of feeling where it's like I really don't feel like it, I'm supported. It just... It's weird. And so I just end up, st I stop talking to people. Um, and yet I know I need connection. And so it's, it's difficult. Um, but because I tried these different things and I'm, I've even said to people like, Hey, I feel like this and it doesn't seem to shift. And so I just felt like it must be something in me. I need to shift and I don't know how. So, um, anyway, this one friend called and I hadn't answered, I hadn't talked in a while. And, um, and this time, because of the timing, it was literally like I laid down to meditate and I felt like maybe there's a message here. So I answered. And it was the same feeling where I just felt like, uh, I just felt drained, you know, like, like I'm going through some shit right now and like, 
you know, sometimes listening to someone else go through their stuff is like, yeah, like commiseration, but I'm really not like that. Like I don't need hearing about other people's stuff doesn't make me feel better. Um, I, I'm not like the misery loves company kind of person. Um, I, I don't want people to feel bad and uh, it doesn't help me. So anyway, and then, and then I, and then I just thought, oh, okay, maybe this was just like a message, like honor yourself. You know, even if someone calls and it's a friend, just when you need time alone, don't answer the phone, you know? That's what I figured the message was. Then he called back, like, right away. So I was like, all right. So I answered. And he said that he noticed what happened and that he just felt like it was important to tell me that that's not why he called. And that um, he recognizes that it's easy to kind of uh, be that way with me because I like kind of receive it and um, and just he wanted to let me know that he's there for me and uh, as you can see it, it brought up a lot for me because um, I felt seen and, and I I said you know yeah I I know that you're sincere about that but like what happens like because I've tried that what happens if like the next time I call I start I try to talk to you but then you start talking about yourself or you I don't feel like you're really there it doesn't feel good and and he said you just have to teach me just cut me off and say look I really need you to listen and I've heard this before like I think I just I forget that um, not everyone is, is like me and I think I've assumed for a long time like if they don't if someone doesn't listen or if they're not considerate or they're not then they don't really want to hear you know um, if they don't have the attention span or whatever they don't really care and um, and of course that's not true I hear this with women and men all the time that like women assume men don't really care because they're not as communicative or as attentive as women often and that's not true it's just like learning how to communicate and so it just it was very unexpected and I think the reason why this recent like reflection that I've had that that felt so good was because like I didn't have to explain or say anything I really could just I felt like be myself for the first time and have someone really just receive it all and then so then when I realized actually in some ways they can't receive it all then it's kind of like okay this is not again it's not for one person it's like for the world and then like today feeling this pressure like okay so how do I show up in the world okay I'm making this declaration what does that mean so I felt like I had to figure something out like I make some grand gesture or like like what does it mean to show up in the world you know and then this message to be quiet which just seems like the opposite you know um so anyway having this this friend like say that it was just kind of like uh the world sees you and of course like this wave thing right it's like you can't to not be attached to it coming from one person or one thing or even all the time, like it's gonna, it's gonna come in waves. Um, so I just, I feel really, I still feel sad. And I, um, I think all the parts of me that have uh, like a seven year old girl in me really kept coming through. It's like all the, all the parts of me that have felt unseen for so long. And, um, I'm tired. I'm really, I'm really tired of being like the unsung hero. I'm tired of being underground. I'm tired of being the one in the shadow. I'm tired of being the one who, um, kind of is self-effacing because I don't want to hurt other people's feelings or I don't want other people to be jealous or I don't want, um, I don't want to seem selfish or egotistical or whatever. I'm just, I'm so fucking tired of it. I'm so fucking done.